What a wonderful breakthrough this has been, and what a powerful model it can be for the future. But if today marks the culmination of an intricate process of planning and organization, it also marks the beginning of another demanding journey, the process of executing and instituting our plans. At the end of this road, however, lies an exciting new world of opportunity for the people of this region, for the people of this country, and indeed the whole of East Africa. As you know, the government and the people of Uganda have made substantial economic strides in recent years, and they are to be congratulated for these achievements. It is striking to me that the continent of Africa, with fully one-sixth of the world's population, produces only 4% of the world's electricity and most of that is in the northernmost and southernmost countries. The great issue of development everywhere in the world is whether the power supply will grow more quickly than the economy or whether economic growth will outstrip the power supply. Uganda has been suffering from the latter condition and the consequences have been grave. Today, only 5% of the total population of Uganda and only 1% of the rural population have access to the grid supply of electric power. Even those who do have access, electricity tariffs have more than doubled in the last four years. These skyrocketing costs work to reinforce the cycle of poverty of millions and they badly impair the ability of Ugandan companies to compete in international markets and thus to expand employment. The result of continuing power shortfalls can be a downward spiral of disappointment and discouragement. The Bujagali project was not merely a desirable option as we began to examine it a few years ago. It was a fundamental necessity. I believe that the Bujagali project will propel a great chain of positive developments, an exciting upward spiral. From the very beginnings of civilization, the use of water intelligently, respectfully, and creatively has been at the very center of human concerns. The Nile River itself has been a great source and sustainer of life for thousands of years. Today, we repeat and renew that ancient story once again as we lay this foundation stone and thus signal the opening of a new era in African history. I salute all of you respectfully and gratefully for sharing with us in this great endeavor. Thank you very much. Regarding the Bujagari hydropower project, for which we are going to lay the foundation stone this morning, Industrial Promotion Services, an affiliate of ACFED, is leading a consortium called Bujagari Energy Limited, which will be responsible for the development and operation of this project. I understand the Bujagari project is the largest single infrastructure investment of the Aga Khan Development Network worldwide. I commend His Highness for this remarkable contribution to our economy. Thank you.